Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! That desires and pursuits only become profitable to us when they are connected to purpose. Desires and pursuits only become profitable to us when they are connected to purpose. That nothing in itself brings satisfaction except and unless it is connected to a bigger purpose other than itself please never forget this this is my first message so purpose attempts to answer the question why why do you want the power why do you want the money why do you want the anointing why do you want the fame why do you want for politicians the political office why do you want promotion our lives are full of requests and desires and petitions both secret and opened and let me tell you this motif is a principal determinant as far as answered prayer is concerned in the kingdom i vet my life and i vet my desires every once and again as an individual and then by the privilege of God's grace as a man of God to find out that if find out if my desires are just blind pursuits just for self aggrandizement or they are connected to kingdom come many people do not understand the power of purpose so we pursue desires disconnected from purpose and when we do obtain those desires you will find out that the satisfaction and the fulfillment we thought they would bring they are unable to bring for instance there are people who want cars and they hope that a car in itself will bring them joy they want houses they want children they want um, a great life pastors and ministers they want fame you know celebrity and all those kinds of things by reason of God's grace and what he's done and is doing through my life, um, every time people reach me and try to give an impression like apostle, you are so fortunate, you are so lucky, the world loves you, people love you. I, I, and I look at them most times and especially when they now begin to covet that kind of thing. I know they are sincere, but then I tell them that nothing in itself brings satisfaction. Believe me until and unless it is connected to purpose so this is my first message to all of us our global family and then to the body of christ we must get back to the place of purpose more than desires we cannot just camp around the realm of desires in terms of our want for achievements and so on and so forth more than desires more than pursuits we must return to the place of purpose and let me propose for us one theme and the central purpose for our lives as believers write this down please I wrote something very important here that I'd want us to pay attention to beyond personal ambitions beyond personal ambitions beyond the desire to outshine sadly Beyond the desire to be successful and celebrated, we must seek to see Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified as our ultimate purpose. Beyond personal ambitions, beyond the desire to outshine, beyond the desire to be successful and celebrated, we must seek to see Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified as our highest and our greatest purpose. John chapter 3 and verse 30. John 3, 30. John 3, 30. He says that I may, John 3, 30, that I may increase, he says, that I may decrease. John was speaking that he must increase i must decrease 
it does not mean to lose relevance it means that with respect to Jesus I am satisfied if nobody sees me that if my life can become a ladder for people to see Jesus I do not mind even if I go out of relevance what a powerful desire he must increase but I must decrease we live in a celebrity driven world where there is such an obsession for fame we want to be seen we want to be known but let me tell you sincerely from the integrity of scripture if you ever want to live a meaningful life a life that counts more than your fame and ambition and all of those things you must desire to see Jesus lifted and glorified John 17 and verse 1 John 17 and verse 1 the Bible says that Jesus lifted up John 17 and verse 1 that he lifted up his eyes to the heavens he was about to pray now and he lifted his eyes to the heavens and said father the hour is come glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so in the kingdom the only reason why God lifts people brings you to what you know to be celebrity status if you use that for want of word is that he's giving you an opportunity that if and when you arrive there you don't just stop there and become the central focus that you allow yourself to be a ladder for Jesus to be seen you've heard me say it countless times that years ago the Lord told me he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you very simple condition to let men see me be lifted high be lifted high oh Lord be lifted high for you are holy righteous and worthy oh Lord One more time. We lift you high. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Be lifted high. For you are holy. My one desire my greatest purpose in life is not to be a good preacher believe me my greatest desire in life is not to be a celebrity no my greatest desire in life is not to have the largest church the largest ministry in all fairness my greatest desire is that I'm able to use my life and even my lifetime as a drink offering to be able to reveal Jesus to my generation and to bring him glory and then to also inspire a generation to love to serve to seek and to pursue Jesus that's it no matter what else works in my life if this fails I failed but no matter what fails in my life if this worked I won this is the template that governs my life more than some of the things that drive us it is a reason why you would notice that respectfully speaking I am very disconnected to several things that seem to each people in our generation not I don't have any particular bias against love and want of these things but it is the extent of my determination to live a life that allows Jesus to be revealed and glorified God has so worked in me honoring that desire and disconnected me from several things that seem to be an obsession for people so my first message today to our global family and then to the family of believers and as many who are connected this has no prejudice or bias whether you're a Christian or Muslim these are truths that will improve any life at all any life that cares to listen 
connect your desire for wealth to purpose use purpose to vet your desire use purpose to prune your desire use purpose to prune your pursuit ask yourself that question why am i doing the things i am doing because you see the way we live our lives and the way we make it a do or die affair for everything it is because the motivation may be wrong when you connect your life to purpose and if that purpose is to reveal and to glorify jesus I assure you that many things in your life will no longer be a do or die affair. My first message, the power of purpose. You must answer the question, why? Why am I obsessed about wanting to be rich? Why am I obsessed about wanting to be the man of God everybody sees? Why am I obsessed about having the largest or greatest or most impactful ministry? Why do I want to become the businessman that everybody sees? Why do I want to become the politician that everybody sees? What is the obsession behind becoming a celebrity? Our world is full of great people who kill themselves, committed suicide, even at the height of supposed successes. Why? Because they did not connect their pursuit to purpose. Jesus revealed Jesus glorified remains the anthem for my life and the anthem for this ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Be concentrated. Let your mind be Holy God's fire. For